The Ascendix RE Enterprise Platform allows you the ability to track commissions on a deal. This video will illustrate how you can start by um, tracking the gross deal value of that deal and then further adding commissions to that. I'm going to go into a sample deal here called Able Design Lease Deal. And in order for commissions to start begin being calculated initially on the deal form directly, you need to subscribe or add a gross deal value. If in the leasing space, this would be the total rent over the period of years. In the sales space, it'd be the sale price of the property. So in this example, $2 million is this entire deal's value. And the commission or gross fee percent reduced from that is 3%. And so the math that's completed here is $60,000, which calculates to be 3% of 2 million. And you'll notice that it's calculating that here under gross fee amount, but also repeating itself for company gross fee, total inside commission and company net. And the reason is um, we've not reduced this 60,000 any further to start um, tracking commission splits, broker and house splits or co-brokers, et cetera. And so the starting point here is to just put in the gross deal value, indicate if the, um, we'll go ahead and edit here, the uh, fee is a percent or a flat amount, you could do either. And then either way, uh, if you put in percent, it'll auto calculate. If you put in a number, it will obviously calculate as well. So that's the first point. And then when you go back to the deal towards the top portion in the related list, quick links, um, you'll find one or a section called commissions. And this is where you would need to then add your commissions. I'm gonna add a new commission record. And in this example, um, or really anytime you start a new commission record, you're brought to the screen to ask you what kind of commission you want to add. I think the more traditional example here would be an inside broker. So a broker at the firm that would be splitting this deal potentially with house. And I know that that may vary from situation to situation after certain um, thresholds and quotas are met. And then from this point, you would select the user that is receiving that commission. So I'll just go ahead and select Victoria. And so you're doing that. And then the really the next two fields are fee percent and house, or again, if it's an amount, you select that. But we'll stick with the percent example. And really, um, if Victoria was splitting this deal 80-20 with the house where tw uh, the house was getting 20 and Victoria was getting 80% of that, um, then you'd put in 20 for house. But for fee percent, you're actually going to be putting in not 80, which I understand would make sense, but 100 because Victoria is getting 100% of that 80% balance. Now, if Victoria were splitting this deal with another inside broker, let's say 50-50, then this fee percent would not be 100, it would be 50, and we'd need to create another commission record for the second person that was splitting that deal with her. So I'm going to put in 100 and save. And it will bring us directly to the, not the deal record anymore, but rather the commission record for Victoria. And so if we look at the numbers, we started off with that 60,000, which was the 3% of the 2 million. And now that 80-20 split is reflected here, whereby the company where Victoria works or wherever she's a broker at um, is getting 12,000 and she's getting 48,000. So that if we go back to the deal itself and go back to where it says commissions. Now you'll see there's one because we've added it and we hover over, we could see um, what we've basically just added in a, at a high level that the um, net commission for Victoria is 48 and house got 20 of that. You can obviously add multiple commissions if you decide that there was an external co-broker or perhaps there was another inside broker that's splitting that deal with Victoria. And if you were doing that, you would need to go back and adjust Victoria's because her fee percent would no longer be 100, but whatever um, split she's sharing with that other agent. Clearly in commissions, there are multiple scenarios to account for, and it can be a little bit confusing to follow. Um, I, another point to add is the commissions here are not really intended for invoice purposes. Uh, it's really just meant for a tracking mechanism. And so if that's important to you to track the commissions, uh, whether it's company commissions or a net to the individual uh, person, you could use commissions and report on them or build dashboards to get a sense of true pipeline. Feel free to reach out to anyone in the Sendix with further questions about commissions.